everyone! Thank you for this opportunity. I am Madhip Van Devi Saraswati and my research partner, Zafika Zuparka. We are from Kesatuan Bangsa School, Yogyakarta. Plats, disease, and global warming can all be caused by the impact of plastic waste. Did you know that? Like plastic, disposable mass waste, when combined with other waste, can release harmful chemical and biological substances that will have a negative impact on animals, plants, and even humans themselves. So, we are here to present a solution for reducing mass by creating something useful. The title of our research is Utilization of Medical Mass Waste as Soundproof Paper in a New Normal Era. New Era, New Notion! So, let's get started. Only in 2020, Indonesia was shocked by the emergence of COVID-19 pandemic, which infects human respiratory system just by breathing in the virus through the air. This virus began in Wuhan and spread across the globe, with no exception to Indonesia. Did you know? In Indonesia currently, there have been 4.6 million cases, with 5.7% still active. This is the off the 9th of February. Therefore, to reduce the spread of this virus, the government took quick steps to close all public places, such as airports, shopping centers, recreational areas, and also schools. In addition, the government also urges the public to implement strict health protocols, such as maintaining distance, avoiding crowds, washing hands, and not forgetting to wear masks. With this health protocol in place, masks have become both a necessity and an obligation for all of us. Considering that, masks must be used every day and replaced regularly. The waste of masks is accumulating every day. From the data obtained, the average amount of medical waste alone is 520 tons per day, of which 16% comes from masks. One solution to the increase of mass waste is to reuse or recycle the mass. In this project, we want to transfer the mass waste into a usable product, namely soundproof wallpaper. Soundproof wallpaper is a wallpaper that can absorb or reduce sound. This concept is inspired by the idea that when people are talking to each other, there is a decrease in sound wave transmission associated with a loss of several decibels depending on the type of mass use. So, when we use a mask, the high-pitched conversational voice will sound lower because it is blocked by the mask. For this reason, in this research, we want to combine the impact of using a mask on reducing sound from and sound from wallpaper. In addition, we will expect the future implementation of this research to significantly reduce the negative impact of mass waste. Our research uses a method of experimentation in the process of creating a sample of treated waste materials that were then tested using a mobile phone with an RDN essential application and a ton generator application. The research went through to stay, sample production and sample testing of room soundproofing over four weeks. So here is an outline of our research. The first step is the literature study, the second is the preparation steps, the third is the sample creation, the fourth is the sample testing, and the last is the data analysis to product the result and conclusion. The tools and material we use in the manufacture of sample are mass filter sheets, glue, scissors, a mold, a heating iron, aluminum foil, and a ruler. The tools and material we use in the testing method are styrofoam, a cardboard box, a coat, a speaker, a laptop, a handphone, and a treated sample mask. In the preparatory steps, we collected various types of masks and washed them using warm water and shampoo to keep the fibers from wearing off. Next, the disinfectant liquid was sprayed onto the mask to remove bacteria. Then, we placed a piece of cloth on them and ironed them to make them smooth. The cleaned masks were then divided for three methods with 20 mask sheets for sample 1, 30 for sample 2, and 48 for sample 3. The three samples were treated with three types of processing. Sample 1 was treated by mixing the mass strips with glue. For sample 2, the mass strips were treated by melting. For sample 3, the strips were rolled up. We also combined all three samples to test them as one separate sample under the damp sample form. The four treated samples were then attached to a cupboard box covered with styrofoam, which was divided into two rooms, room 1 with a sound source and room 2 as a quiet room. When the sample was installed, the data retrieval on each sample was done three times for 10 seconds at each frequency. By testing each sample at the sound frequency of 250 Hz, 500 Hz, 1000 Hz, and 2000 Hz. Data of desired sound intensity research is present in the following tables. Based on the table data, sample 1 is able to reduce our sound at any frequency tested. Sample 1 is able to reduce sound based at a frequency of 200 Hz by 6 dB. Um, sorry for interrupting, but what decibel is? Well, decibel is a unit used to measure the intensity of a sound or the power level of an electrical signal by comparing it with a given level on a logarithmic scale. Next, for sample 2 is able to work well at a frequency of 200 Hz, but not as good as the first sample 1. Sample 3 has an advantage over any other sample in reducing sound. Sample 3 is able to reduce all sound at any frequency test with high noise reduction. For example, sample 3 at a frequency of 500 Hz is capable for reducing sound by 11 dB. The fourth sample is a combination of other 
three kinds of sample. Compared to the other three samples, the noise reduction for sample 4 at a frequency of 2000 Hz is 14 dB. That is twice of the highest noise reduction when the same data of desired sound intensity research is present in the following graph. From the data graph, it could suggest that each sample has a different effectiveness at each frequency. From four sample, sample 4 which is compound of sample 1, 2, and 3 works well at a frequency of 2000 Hz. Sample 2 had the lowest wizard and didn't have much of a current effect compared to any of the other samples because a higher density which caused sound waves to travel faster from room to room. For sample 3, the pores which caused the sound to collide between them make it more possible for the intensity sound wave to take longer to reach the judges compared to the other samples. It can be concluded that noise material can be an alternative material capable of producing excessive sound and to enter the room through sound reflection. Overall, three separated samples can work best with a frequency of 500 Hz. They use the method of weak even so, each layer of a single sample gets primacy at a certain sound's frequency. Sample 1 is well used to reduce excess sound at a frequency of 200 Hz. Sample 2 is good for reducing voice of overload at a frequency of 200 Hz, but by comparison, the sample is not as good as this other sample. Sample 3 was able to reduce the sound of overload at a frequency of 500 Hz. Sample 4 is well used at a frequency of 2000 Hz. This wallpaper sound proof is worth buying because it looks beautiful and is good for reducing sounds. The research still requires completion. But the factory process is further and better if, the first, the research also requires a silent room to avoid becoming contaminated by outside sounds. The second of this, a sound measuring equipment is needed that can measure the sound intensity correctly so that the result or the aim of this improvement is to enable the use of mass material as an alternative soundproofing wall layer to reduce sounds or pollute more optimally and to release our goal of significantly reducing the waste of mass in the infrared. So, that's our presentation. Thank you for your attention. Bye!